Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video I wanted to show you how I made this s'mores little plushy keyring out of felt. So to start off with, you'll need a kind of biscuity, beigey coloured felt and you'll want to cut out four squares. This will depend on how big you want the squares but just cut them to whatever size that you feel like you want your plushie to be. So like I said, you need four of these in total and taken two, you'll want to stitch them together. So I just used a blanket stitch and to do this you want to put a stitch about half a centimetre away but instead of stitching all the way through, you want to stitch through, pull the thread back round and post it through the kind of hoop that's made from the stitch if that makes any sense. You can see if you kind of look really closely at what I'm doing or you can find other tutorials on Google and stuff like that on how to do a blanket stitch. You want to do this about three quarters of the way around and then once you have like a little gap you'll then want to stuff up the biscuit shape. Once slightly stuffed you'll then want to carry on stitching around and then once you get to the end you'll then want to take some biscuity coloured thread again and you'll just want to make four little stitches throughout the biscuity bit to make little indents. This is just to add a little bit of detail so it's not required really but I like the way it looks because it kind of makes them stop looking like ravioli because I felt like when I was doing this it looked like ravioli so it needed like little indents to make it kind of biscuity. You'll also want to do the exact same on the other two pieces and then you'll have two pieces exactly the same. Next you want to move on and take a white strip of felt and this is to make the marshmallow in between the two biscuits. You'll want to cut this into a strip and then with the edges together you'll just want to sew this into a cylinder shape. Once sewn into the cylinder shape, you'll then need to attach this to one of the biscuits. Instead of sewing this, you could also hot glue this as well or use fabric glue, but I just like to stitch this together as it just kind of is easy to me. So what I did was held it down with my left thumb and then I just stitched around moving as I went so that it stitched in a circle type shape. Once the first bit was stitched on, I then stuffed up the marshmallow with some toy stuffing and then I went ahead and did the same thing with the other side so that the marshmallow was completely secured in between the both biscuits. Once completely secure, I then moved on with some fabric paint and I used the Dylon fabric paint in number 16, Dark Brown. This is the same fabric paint that I use when I make squishies with a little bit of chocolate on and what you want to do is basically just paint this onto the top of the marshmallow to act as if like there's chocolate dripping down as, you know, to give the, the s'mores like effect. You could also stick on dark brown felt but I actually didn't have any and felt like I wanted to use fabric paint to kind of give the illusion that it was chocolate. You'll just want to paint this all the way round and then just neaten it up after you kind of get all the drip effect. So once I'd painted that, I then moved on with some black and white puppy paint and I just painted on a little kawaii face onto the front of the marshmallow. This is completely optional but I like to draw faces on everything so of course I did this step. I also then went ahead and used a pin instead of a dotting tool to do the little mouse so that you could get a really, really small one and this is a great tip if you are doing lots of small things. Instead of using the dotting tool, just use a pin and then you'll get more detail. Once this was dry, I then moved on with my makeup brush and usual makeup blush and I just put on two little bits of blush either side of the eyes and then once this was done, I then took a tiny little metal loop and I just sewed this onto one of the corners of the biscuits. I also then threaded through one of those little ball chain thingies that you kind of see on squishies through that loop to make the keychain. You could also sew on a keychain if you wanted that but I just wanted to use something a little bit different. Once this was in place my little plushie was then complete. So I hope you enjoyed this video, it was a nice little break from squishies. I know I'm really really enjoying making squishy videos right now and a lot of you are too as the main majority of my views are going to those so I will keep posting those very very regularly but I will kind of break it up with a few videos in between. So if you have any video requests please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!